In construction, one of the most critical structural elements is the beam. Beams support loads, transforming weight from above down to columns and walls. But how do you figure out how large a beam should be? Calculating the depth and width of a beam doesn't have to be complicated, and here's a few simple steps to follow. But before we dive in, if you're enjoying our measurement content and want to see more, let us know by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment. Now, let's get started. What is a beam? A beam is a horizontal structure that bears the weight of floors, roofs, or walls. Its main job is to take the load from above and distribute it evenly, making sure the building stays safe and sound. If the beam isn't designed correctly, it could sag or even collapse, so understanding its dimensions is key. Okay, so we'll look at the steps. Number one, how to calculate the depth of a beam. The depth of a beam is the vertical distance from the top to its bottom. A quick thumb rule is that the depth should be about one tenth to one twelfth of the span. So the formula we can use here is depth equals span divided by 10 or span divided by 12. Let's say you have a beam that spans six meters. Here's how you calculate the depth. Using the one tenth rule, we'll take the depth equals six over 10. This means that the beam should be about 600 mil deep to support the load safely. So once we've determined the depth, the next step is to calculate the width. Typically the width is a half to a third of the depth. So the formula here is width equals depth divided by two or depth divided by three. So if our beam is 600 mil, the width would be using the half rule, width equals 600 divided by two, which will give us 300 mil. This gives you an idea of how wide the beam should be to ensure stability. Now for quick and rough calculations, thumb rules can be extremely helpful. These are simple guidelines that don't require advanced maths, yet they provide a reasonable estimate for beam sizes during the early stages of design. However, it is important to remember that thumb rules provide approximate values. So while they're good for planning, you'll still want a structural engineer to verify the design for safety, especially on larger or more complex projects. So the thumb rule for residential buildings is the depth is a span divided by 10, and the width is a depth divided by two. For instance, if a beam spans five meters, the depth would be five over 10, which would give us 0.5 meters or 500 mil, and the width would be 500 divided by two, which is 250 mil. Thumb rule for commercial buildings is depth equals span divided by 12, and width equals depth divided by three. If a beam spans eight meters or more, we use the thumb rule for commercial buildings. So in conclusion, designing a beam doesn't have to be too difficult. By following these simple steps and thumb rules, you can get a rough idea of how deep and wide a beam should be for your project. Just remember these guidelines are great for early planning, but a detailed, precise design is always best handled by a professional engineer. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.